Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and in this video, I'm gonna go more in depth on a plugin for WordPress that I covered in a previous video uh, where I talked about my favorite WordPress plugins. So it is one of my favorites, and it's called Imagify. It's actually an image optimization app and plugin for WordPress. So let's get right into it. So I think most people know these days that speed of the website is really important for um, SEO, search engine optimization, and for your human visitors. If you have a page that loads really slow, it's gonna discourage search engines from ranking your site, and it's gonna also discourage human visitors from loading your site on desktop and um, on mobile phones especially. So I created this test page with just two images that are both like 10 meg, just taken from a nice camera with no optimization done. I'm gonna show you how this plugin works. So if I load this page, fresh you'll see even on a fast internet connection it's just taking a little bit to uh, load these two images it's kind of like old dial up on like aol or something even loading small images reminds you of that so you don't want to bring people back to those dark ages of the internet uh, with these huge images but a lot of people do this they just take pictures on their phone throw them up on the website and then it's going to load really slow like this i did a quick speed test on gtmetrics.com just to uh, test the speed and it got a page speed score of 0% and it's okay except for optimizing images and server scaled images. So again, these images were huge um, and so it's getting really bad uh, page speed scores because of these images. And you see it's saying here they're 6,000 by 4,000 but they're displaying 795 by 530. So that's the reduction that could take place. And they're, again, they're about 10 megs, so they could be reduced significantly without really affecting the quality of the image too much. So that's exactly what Imagify plugin and app is gonna do for you. Uh, they actually have uh, free versions. They have um, a paid version, which I, I like to use. There are a number of other compression plugins, and there are some that are free, but I do use the free version of Imagify, but I've also paid for it just for larger sites because um, I get better results from it and it's worth the price uh, for me. There's something called Resmush It. Um, this one is popular, the EWWW Image Optimizer plugin. And then on this post from WB Beginner, they talk about WP Smush, which is another popular one. I'm not gonna go into all the details of these ones. Um, I've tried some of them and some of them work okay. Some of them are free, but I've just preferred Magify because of uh, the performance. Um, it's got a really nice interface, just really reliable, and um, ultimately does a good job of uh, scaling down the images and optimizing them to make the site faster. I'll show you some of their pricing at the end of the video, but let me show you the plugin first. So you can search for the plugin in the plugin directory within your WordPress site. Once you install it and activate it, you're gonna see this prompt to create an account and enter an API key. I'm gonna go ahead and enter my information so that I can activate the plugin and show it to you. So now that I'm logged into my Magify account, I just wanna show you real quick that they do have an app on their website where you can just drag images right to this box here and it'll actually uh, optimize them on the, the web app. So you don't, it's not just a WordPress plugin. It is also an online app and they have other APIs to integrate into websites in different ways. I think they're also going to be creating plugins for some other popular uh, website platforms like Shopify and Joomla, for example. So I've added my API information uh, and this is what the settings look like for the Imagify plugin. It's under settings, Imagify. You can see I have some credit left. Um, I'm actually running on a free plan right now because I ran out of credits. Uh, but under general settings, they have three levels of optimization, normal, aggressive, and ultra. I think I've usually used aggressive, um, but this is basically different levels of optimization um, with ultra being the highest. So there's a few options here, a few settings. You can auto-optimize images on upload. So that's a nice feature for the future because if you were to add an image to the library, it would optimize it as you upload it or right after you upload it. So I'll show you that uh, in action real quick if I just go to the media library and uh, quickly grab first image I see. It's gonna upload it. And then I believe in the media library, it's going to optimize that image. Actually, this one was already optimized, so it didn't need to do anything more. It was already 23K. 
Um, but if I re-optimize it with Ultra, it's going to optimize it according to my settings. Uh, and you can see here it's optimizing right now. And it'll do that in the background. So let me go back to the plugin settings. So you can have it keep an original backup of the images in a separate folder. You can also, it'll erase EXIF data on your images, which is like camera, date, and shutter speed, and all that stuff. Um, so if you want to keep that, you can check this to keep that data. Most of the time on a website, you're not going to need to keep that data. Uh, this plugin does have the ability to create the WebP versions of images. And then here's a setting for resizing larger images. So I'm definitely going to need to do that for mine because they're 6,000 pixels wide. And then they say right here you want to keep this to the, your largest thumbnail width. And on this website it is 2880. So I'm going to set that to 2880. You don't want to resize the images any smaller than that. Uh, WordPress is going to automatically create these different size images for you. And this is according to the theme you're using. So the last option is just the option to uh, turn this top menu um, display on or off. So with all those settings uh, complete, I'm going to click save and go to bulk optimizer. You can also get to the bulk optimizer under the media menu. Uh, bulk optimization option is added here once you install the Imagify plugin. So this is the bulk optimizer. It's telling me I already did one image. That's the one I was doing in the media library. That one's complete. I'm going to go ahead and just click this blue button to start the bulk optimization. And it's going to warn me that I'm getting low on credits, but I think I do have enough to just do those few images on this website. It's going to do some other images on the website as well, but I'm most interested in those large images um, that I uploaded on purpose uh, for the purpose of testing. So I believe I can navigate away from this uh, screen and it'll keep working, but I'm just going to stay on here uh, to be safe. I'm going to click view details and you can actually see it's already optimized these two images and it's working on those two big images and then there's two more images on the site. So I'm just going to let this run and pause the video. So the plugin's all done running. Uh, took about four minutes and spent most of its time on these two images here that were just way too big. Uh, it reduced them about 88, 89% from around 10, 11 megabytes down to just over one meg. So these sizes are still too big, but I mean, this is an extreme case. Um, you should never really be starting off with images that are 10 meg. Um, you should be making those smaller before you upload them. But if you're not able to do that for some reason, or you have hundreds or thousands of images that are already on your site and they're huge. You don't have time to go through all of them. This is a good option. It's reducing it by almost 90% of the file size. Just to show you some smaller images up here, like the logo, which was 31 kilobytes only. It reduced that by half. And then here's another one that it reduced by 16%. So this is a small amount of savings, but if you have these big images on your site, you're going to see a, a large uh, savings. So let's go ahead and look at my test again. And if I refresh, do a hard refresh on this, it should reload those again. It's a little bit faster, still pretty slow. So I actually had to pause the video and now it's one week later. As you can see, I was having trouble with these large images and uh, even though the plugin was saying that it resize them it was still displaying the large images that were 6,000 pixels wide and that's why it was loading slow so I actually paused the video to try to troubleshoot it and I even uh, sent a message in the WordPress plugin directory to their support and they hadn't respond they haven't responded after a week which is not good um, they are responding to some people and they have their own support on their website that I didn't try but Anyway, they didn't respond there, but I will let you know if they do respond. But now that it's been about a week or so, it is working. So I don't know if it was a caching issue or what was going on. But now that I, when I refresh it, you can see it loads uh, much faster than before. And if I open the image in a new tab, it's now resized to the 2880. 
uh, which is uh, the size that it was supposed to resize to. So it did work, but for whatever reason, when I refreshed, these large images were still showing uh, in the larger size. So I went ahead and ran the speed test again, and we are still getting an F for, for this score, even though it's up from 0% to 32, and that's because I'm using a 2880 pixel wide image when it's only displaying at 700 something. So they're giving me a bad score for that. But the important thing to focus on here is the uh, load time. And in the test uh, at the beginning of the video, this was 4.8 seconds and 21.2 megabytes. And now it is 1.8 seconds and 2.76 megabytes. So it went down substantially. So that's really what the plugin does. It lowers your page size and, and, and uh, improves your load time. So your page loads faster. If you did want to improve this score here from the F, what you'd want to do is resize the image. So there's really no reason for this to be a 2880 wide. So I would actually go in and edit this page and I'll show you a quick way to do it in WordPress. So if I select one of these images in WordPress on the right side, I can actually choose a different size image. And this one's a thousand. These are just image sizes that WordPress creates automatically. So if I choose large, medium is 300, so that's too small. So I'll make both of these large, which is gonna cut them by more than half. Click update. Now if I reload the page, you can see it loads uh, much faster. And if I run the test, actually now I'm getting an A, 92%. It's down to 1.5 seconds and uh, under one megabyte. It's actually 747 kilobytes. So the moral of the story there is it's really important to have the images sized correctly. Um, they're still sized at a thousand, which is you know about this big, but they're displaying down uh, to this size, which is around 750. So you always want the images close to um, the image they're displaying, the size in which they're displaying to uh, keep it loading fast. But this video just shows you how the Imagify plugin can work. Uh, it's really handy for people who have thousands of images on their site and need to bulk upload them. It would take a really long time for someone like that to go through and optimize all their images. So you really have to use a plugin. Imagify has been great for me, but you can see in this video, I had an issue with those large images. And then I also didn't get a response from support. So if I do hear back on that, I will post a comment or post in the description to update you on what happened there. Um, maybe I'll hear from support in the, um, the WordPress uh, forum here that I posted on. So I'll let you know, maybe I'll link to this post as well. So you guys can check up to see if there's been any response. Since you are interested in images for your website, you'll probably like my three minute tip video that I did on website image sizes. And in that video, I go into uh, which image sizes you should use and which ones I use for different types of images on websites I build. So go ahead and check that video out and we'll see you there.